up, Prisoners? It's Ashley or Optic Midnight, and today I'm bringing you guys some Blitz gameplay from the map Prison Break. This is actually uh, me playing uh, before the game was out. Uh, I, I did get it early, as you guys might know from watching some of my ghost videos. Um, so I was still kind of learning the game at this point. This isn't the best uh, KD in the world, but I still thought that the game was entertaining because it was me kind of learning Blitz for one of the first times. And it's actually, it is a game mode that I enjoy in public matches, but what this commentary is going to be about is, I guess, my opinion or my perspective from a viewer, obviously. I am not a competitive player. I'm not a pro. I'm not an amateur. I do not, like, I, I've played game battles once in a while. You guys know that I liked League Play in Black Ops 2, uh, but I am I don't want to make this commentary and have you guys thinking, oh, she's a competitive player, so her opinions are, like, more weighted than others. I'm just speaking from a viewer's point of view. Somebody who's enjoyed watching competitive Call of Duty for the last two or three years. Uh, when I, you know, when I found out what it was, I started getting into it, getting into watching it, and, and supporting my favorite team. Can you guess which one it is? I don't know. I might be the biggest complexity fan ever. I'm just playing. I, I love Optic, obviously, so... I just kind of wanted to talk about, you know, maybe a viewer's perspective uh, about Call of Duty Ghost Competitive. Now, there is, I'm just going to premise this commentary by saying that according to Infinity Ward, Tina, and Candice, uh, the, the, the people that are in charge of taking our feedback and kind of helping implement it into the game, they have said that there is going to be some changes in regards to esports. It's been confirmed that they're going to be adding a broadcaster mode, which is pretty much going to be just like Codcaster from Black Ops 2. But I I don't know. I haven't seen uh, obviously what it looks like in the screenshots. I'm just hoping that it's not some bootleg ass version of Codcaster because Codcaster and Black Ops 2, aside from the game modes, I think it's one of the things that really saved the competitive scene for a viewer. You know, being able to see on the map, you know, where are the people? What is the strategy behind this? Instead of just seeing one player's perspective, you could see the whole team, you know, doing doing a strategy in CTF or seeing where they're pushing in Search and Destroy. It made it easier for the casters to, to, do, to cast well. So I think that that's really important. I'm, I'm not going to bank on it being the best thing in the world, but I'm excited to see what that has to offer. Um, they did change the S and D rules, so it can go to six rounds. It can be a minute and a half, so that's great. But what about these other game modes? What about Blitz? Is it really a competitive... <laughs> Does this cater to competitive? I don't think so. From a viewer's point of view, when I'm watching, you know, I, I try to watch the MLG tournaments. I try to watch, you know, pros play s and I pop in there. You know, if I'm not streaming, I stream a lot. But if I'm not streaming, you know, I pop in other people's streams just to see what they're doing. If, if you know, what they got going on with the new game. And I just see that the domination is probably one of the most boring things to watch. If you guys remember, if you were a fan of competitive Call of Duty back in Black Ops 1... It could sometimes take the entire game, you know, coming down to the last one or two minutes for the game to be exciting. You know, it's exciting if the score is close and, and both teams are at 100-something points and they need to double cap or triple cap to win or something like that. You know, when they're put in a situation where they have to clutch it, that's exciting to watch. But the, <laughs> the eight or nine minutes that it takes to get to that point, and that's only if it's a close game the entire time, it's just kind of, it's not exciting. I don't think it caters to the competitive uh, side of things, especially with what uh, the competitive scene just had, which was Hardpoint. Now, I don't think that if, if theoretically, they did bring Hardpoint back into Ghosts, I don't know what it would be like because it's such a different game from Black Ops 2. Anyone that compares Black Ops 2 to Ghosts, it's like they're difficult to compare because they're so different, and this is mostly because of how long it takes to kill people, the time to kill. Like... When you see some, it's whoever sees whoever first, if you have good gun skill, you're going to win that gunfight because you got the jump on them. Now, seeing that in Hardpoint would be really strange, and I'm not even sure how it would play out. Uh, but I do want to follow that up by saying that I think that CTF would be an amazing, amazing add to this game. I'm not sure how hard it is for Infinity War to add CTF to the game. I mean, it, it is a game type that's been in basically every Call of Duty um, since... It was, was it God 4? Modern Warfare 2? I can't remember, but um, it's been in the game for a long time, and it's an old game mode. I don't know how hard it is. I know that they're, they're trying to get people to play Blitz. That's their new little baby that they're trying to make happen. I get that. Blitz is an awesome thing for pubs. 
maybe competitively, I've seen people, I've seen the pros say on Twitter, hey, you know, if we put a, a capture delay on the on the Blitz portal thing, you know, maybe that would be better. Maybe if you have to stand on the on the portal for two and a half or five seconds in order to get a cap, then it wouldn't just be like, oh, I ran to the other side and no one saw me, so we got a point. Like, that type of thing, people wonder, why is it not for competitive if it's good for pubs? The fact is, is somebody can just run to their side of the map and boom, you get a cap. It's it's more based off luck and maneuvering than it is off gun skill and strategy and like competitiveness. I don't know how else to describe it. So that's my thoughts on competitive. I think they need to add CTF really badly. If not, make a make some kind of timer for the Blitz portal if that's possible. I don't know if it's possible for them to do that only for private matches. I think Search and Destroy is a great game mode. It's the cornerstone. Um, of most first-person shooters. I think it started in Counter-Strike, so obviously Search and Destroy. If they ever mess with Search and Destroy, then I just don't know what they're doing, but <laughs> Search and Destroy is great. Domination is boring as shit to watch. I wish that there was some sort of good game mode to replace it, but there's not. Um, and as far as like Cranked and, and Kill Confirm being a lot of competitive, I don't think that that's ever gonna happen because those are team deathmatch, you know, base game types. You could just get some kills and then kind of camp. That's not exciting to watch either. You need some kind of objective game mode. So, if fitting word, I know you probably won't watch my video, but if you do, please add a uh, capture the flag. I think it would be amazing for the competitive side of things. This is coming from a viewer, not a player. Um, but anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did, and also please leave a comment. What do you think needs to happen in order for competitive Call of Duty to keep growing after the huge spurt in growth in Black Ops 2? We obviously need to keep this momentum going, and how do you think that uh, we'll be able to do that? Whether it's game modes, rules, uh, what do you think uh, needs to happen? And what would you enjoy watching as a viewer or as a or playing as a player? So please leave a comment guys leave a like on the video if you enjoyed like I said leave a dislike if you didn't I guess if you want to be that guy Otherwise, you can just like the video anyways. Have a good one guys. Peace out